Hi, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme six, element one, patterns of development. Thinking hats on, I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. Development is the process by which a country becomes wealthier and the quality of life of its citizens improves. Now there's several different visible forms of evidence we can look to see how developed a country is. This might include a greater availability of jobs, access to education and healthcare, and even a stable government. But the way we usually talk about development is the terms HIC, NIC and LIC. HIC stands for High Income Country, then we've got Newly Industrialised Country and then Low Income Country. So we tend to be talk about the economic development of a country. Well let's start off with looking at what the pattern of development actually is. So you might have come across this map before. This is called the Brandt Line. And this was a map that came about in the 19, um, 18, 1980s sorry, uh, by a German politician called William Brandt. And he was suggesting that there is a visible pattern of development, uh, we, what we would call the rich north and the poor south. And the idea was that Brandt had drawn a line through the world separating the richer countries, the HICs, from the poorer countries, the LICs. So this line is supposed to represent the level of development across our globe. So the general pattern is that we've got more HICs in the Northern Hemisphere and more LICs in the Southern Hemisphere. It doesn't all fit the pattern, so you can see that the Brandt line was modified, so it took into account Japan as well as Australia and New Zealand. However, what the Brandt Line is, is a depiction of development in 1980. Many countries have developed since then, and this line hasn't been updated to accommodate that. So, for example, China is well on its way to becoming well past an LIC. It's currently an NIC and probably on the verge of being a richer country, a HIC but this line hasn't been updated to represent that. But it's also important to understand that actually development isn't just binary, it's not just you are rich or you are poor. In many cases there is a continuum of development. So a line that we draw from the poorest to the richest. So it doesn't take into account the recent developments in terms of a country's wealth as well as other types of development. But it's very simplistic, it's very idealistic to think of it as only being a rich country or a poor country. So as well as high end countries and low income countries, you can split those countries up into brackets within that as well. So you might have some upper middle income and some lower middle income. But also, you can think of it in terms of any country is gonna have richer residents and poorer residents. Think of the UK. There is, a, uh, there is a strong north-south divide in the UK between where we find richer areas and poorer areas. So it tends to be nearer London where we get more richer areas and further north you get tends to be poorer areas. So it's not right to say that the entire of the UK is a HIC and that's the end of it because there is a continuum within the country as well. But when we're talking about a development continuum, we're not saying that every country is either a HIC or an LIC. What we are saying is actually, there'll be an entire range of countries along that line. So let's have a look at the types of development. So we've got economic development, which is what we are probably mostly going to be discussing in this module, which is looking at the increased employment and then that comes with increased money, taxes and trade. We've got social development which is more to do with the culture, the education and the healthcare of the country. And then there's political development. So how mm, free a citizen is in that country to say what they want, how free is the media to say what it thinks and how stable the government is. So does the government change a lot between different political parties, does it have to hold lots of elections because everybody can't agree, uh, is the war or civil, uh, civil conflict going on in that country as well. Well that brings our lesson to an end but 
Your learning can continue by completing the Now Try It tasks. Class dismissed.